Hi there and welcome into the new era for the Ohio and Appalachian history geographer. I'm your host as always Tyler uh, coming to you today from the geography corner. This is a place that I created uh, in hopes of kind of supplementing uh, some of the um, work that I do out in the field and some of the videos that I do. Uh, sometimes I can't show you exactly what a place used to look like or uh, what it once was uh, and you can't really visualize that without a photo which I'll put on the website but at the same time during the video you can't really get a a good uh, visual image of what it may look like so I figured that doing something like this um, being able to have a visual representation being able to explain it might uh, be a little bit more conducive to understanding uh, what it is that uh, I'm, I'm trying to, to get across to people and uh, to uh, educate and um, create awareness for uh, the history of uh, Appalachian Ohio and Southeastern Ohio so and don't worry uh, don't don't have to worry I'll be out in the field um, still from time to time uh, still doing the videos but this this will just be something that I'll do sometimes to uh, kind of as I said supplement some of the stories that I'm doing so uh, I do hope you enjoy and as I said this is a new era so um, hopefully uh, this will uh, as I said create more awareness for the page so let's get right down to it today I wanted to do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not going to cover a specific topic uh, or a place, I should say, but I do want to cover um, something that I get asked a lot about, um, and that is just the broad question of what is geography. Uh, a lot of people don't really um, understand exactly what the subject is or what the discipline is, uh, you could say, um, or the, the science of it. So I wanted to uh, kind of show you and explain to you what exactly it is and uh, kind of give you a better understanding of where I come from too as being a, uh, a human geographer um, so let's let's get right down to it so we'll just ask the first question what is geography well geography goes back um, the word goes back to uh, the Greek language and it comes from uh, two parts geo and graphia which means uh, to describe the earth or to write about the earth essentially so that so that shows that it's a very old uh, old subject and so what is what most people think of is physical geography well you might think of that as a place so an actual uh, spatial place you could say um, like a town a city a state a country um, a continent or even if you want to talk um, even larger you could say a, a whole planet uh, even that's kind of the physical sense, um, something that's actually, as, like, as I said, a true physical thing that you can find on a map, let's say. So what is then human geography? Well, human geography, as I've kind of explained before, it's, uh, it's a kind of this element of kind of the human impact or the uh, human connection to the land is about the best way to describe it. And the historical geography kind of combines the human impact on the earth with the physical uh, impact or the physical side of earth so kind of how essentially how and why maybe humans started a colony and why they started it at that specific point so it's kind of uh, just kind of combining the two essentially uh, and how do these matter for Appalachian Ohio well I guess you could say that they they really it goes hand in hand because as we've seen uh, coal mining clay mining uh, you know it it directly affects things that happen as I talked about in the geology video things that happened millions and millions of years ago and it's affecting our life and economy today or in recent times so uh, it really is kind of a balancing act and um, kind of to explain the broader picture of history as a whole geography can help put the pieces together let's say now to better understand geography uh, let's look at uh, essentially the four basic perspectives of geography and these are things that I learned um, many years ago they're kind of um, it's kind of like geography 100 level let's call it so the first one let's talk about is uh, spatial perspective so spatial perspective is kind of what I, I just mentioned kind of the physical aspect so um, and spatial is and spatiality is just kind of bigger words that academics use uh, for saying like a physical place 
just an easier way of saying that, I guess you could almost say too, instead of just saying physical place. So it's kind of the where something is and why something is there. Um, and kind of the spatial relationship to humans, as, as I, I just talked about. It's kind of like what human geography is. The second one, um, ecological perspective. So the ecological perspective deals with kind of human societies um, and their connections to uh, the ecosystem. So we can look at water, food, uh, which, you know, even in the 21st century, these are still basic necessities, just as they were thousands of years ago for a human being or a group of humans to survive. So you're looking at kind of the large and small ecosystems and how maybe as a place grows from small to large, how that impacts the ecosystem. So that's, that's what you'd be looking at there. And then the historical perspective, as we kind of already talked about, is when and where and why and the importance of that when, where, and why. So how, and really is what I've always kind of like to refer to is uh, where the past is linked to the future, but yet the future can be linked to the past. That's kind of um, the best way for me to describe kind of the historical uh, perspective of geography. And the last one up here we have is the economic perspective. So, and that kind of ties hand in hand with what we've been talking about too, as I mentioned, the coal and the clay and the, um, well, even in the iron industries as well. So that's looking at kind of the goods and services of a place and where um, its impact is within different sizes of economy or of different economic sizes rather. So whether it goes from isolated to regional then to a more global scale uh, and how a place and, you, and a good example is um, around here. So in the 1840s, 1850s, it was a very regional, very isolated, or excuse me, a very isolated area uh, of economic impact. You had just right in the basic southeastern Ohio area, uh, coal was being mined in very few areas and pretty much just for the people, maybe in Columbus, but for the immediate area. Uh, tra there was no transportation, there was no railroads to really haul out anything. So at that point it was a very isolated area. And then as more um, railroading moved in and more money moved in into the mining economy, uh, you saw more regional uh, economic uh, kind of outflow. So then all of Ohio was affected and Pittsburgh and then as, as we've seen up into Chicago and Michigan and even over into New York City even. So it, become, it became rather a much more regional based kind of economic uh, hub. So this, this mattered not only for the people in the immediate southeastern Ohio area and Appalachian Ohio, it mattered for really the Midwestern and then even into the East Coast uh, part of the United States. And then the global perspective, um, if uh, you read the Jeffrey Manufacturing Company's um, article I did a while back, that was based in Columbus, they actually had um, holdings and owned companies, uh, owned mine manufacturing companies in, uh, in Europe. So it became a more global scale of, of economy. So over time, uh, this place grew from very isolated to very broad global uh, economic impact. So these are the things that uh, kind of make geography what they are. And Kind of, and again, kind of hope I hope shows you how kind of complex and uh, how deep geography is. It's not just the, the names of places. It is kind of understanding humans, the ecological side of it, the physical side of it of the terrain, as well as the economic and the monetary side of it. So it's a very complex way of looking at things, but you can find out a lot of things and answer a lot of questions by doing this. So I kind of hope that uh, kind of shows you uh, what it is that I went to school for, what I'm passionate about, and applying it to Appalachian, Ohio. So in closing, I do want to point out uh, that if you haven't heard, if you haven't seen on my site, I uh, now have a YouTube channel that you can go and search, and it's the Ohio and Appalachian History Geographer. You can go on there and subscribe for free. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, there'll be content uploaded uh, just like this video and uh, all the old videos that I've done before I had the YouTube channel will be put up on there and already have been. Uh, but I also have Instagram, which is my private Instagram account and, and personal account. But at the same time, I do use it um, kind of as a cross between personal and kind of what I do here um, with the Ohio and Appalachian History Geographer. So you can go on there and kind of see some, um, some interesting things. I will post some things while I'm out and about 
it's kind of behind the scenes look at some, some stuff I've done. So, uh, and then Facebook, as um, as you obviously know, because you're probably watching this on Facebook, because that's the most popular thing I have going right now is the Facebook page. So you can always go on there as well. So I um, hope you enjoyed this. This is hopefully just the first of many videos at this site. So uh, I hope, as I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informative, and I'll see you up around the bend. Thanks.